Isabel? Flaming Fist. He's an Marcus, ally. Is that you? What's happened to you? I've been blessed. You can be too. Come with me, and you can hear all about it from Ketherick himself. What? Isabel, do you know this man? He's a flaming fist. Or was. Came with the others when we created this haven. And I thank you for your hospitality. True soul, my instructions are clear. Take the girl to Ketherick alive. You don't have authority. Wisdom. I do have wisdom. Guidance. Haunting face swims into your mind's eye. Its instructions vivid in your mind. Oh no. Nothing is more important than bringing the girl alive. What's going on? If you have something to say, say it. <sighs> Damn it. Marcus is trying to kidnap you, Isabel. We're going to need to fight our way out of this one. Pathetic. The Absolute sees all. Your treachery will be punished. The Absolute? Of course. You can't believe them, Marcus. Ketherick will never give you whatever it is you've been promised. He already has. Like a pair of wings. Time to go, Isabel. Oh, shoot. Reinforcements. Oh my god! Moon Maiden, guide my hand. What is happening? I didn't I I don't have I did not rest. Hello for book. Moonweaver's prayer inspired everyone. <laughs> Shadow Heart! I wonder if this is worth the cost. What the heck? I thought this was like a safe space, but apparently it's not. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Okay, I. I stunning strike. Who needs help? Oh my god, someone needs help. <gasps> Oh my... Where's more? <clears throat> Hold on. Isabel. Hopper. Saras, oh my god. We need to do something. Probably. We need to help everyone. It's gonna be hard. Where is Mole? I can't even see her. Oh, this E day. It seems like the blessing wasn't enough to keep them out. I can't see more. Okay, first of all, we need to deal with this one. Mm, Tav, do you want to go out and help someone else? 
Dash. I'm a little bit worried about these people downstairs. No, I don't see more. Not good. Okay, we we probably need to split up. Okay, let's um, shadow step. It also provokes attack of opportunity. Hmm. That's bad. We will disengage then. <clears throat> but this this winged horror can't hurt anyone. I probably need to Oh, there's another one here. That's quite bad. Blinded. Okay, cool. Disadvantage, why? I'm blinded, but I won't be blinded when I move out of here. Take me on. And I still missed. Stunning strike. Okay. Oh, nice. She's strong. Paralyzed. Oh, shoot! The cleric! Wait, where's that? Set set you free? Milkhorn? Will, um, Will. Who's calling out to me? I don't know. I don't know, Will. This one? Okay, never mind, never mind, come on. These are not humanoids. But is the is that one humanoid? No, it's not. Mm. Dead devil proximity? Right, ranged spell attacks are melee spells. Very cool. Too far. Really too far? Oh, I need to toggle this probably. Path is interrupted. Disadvantage. Because I am threatened. It's not dead. Mm. My spell slots. My spell slots. Isobel is dying. We need to do something about that. A bright idea. I'm blinded. I'm so stupid. God damn it. Q 
Cure Wounds. Wow, this was not that great. Sanctuary? We need to take something. We need a level 2 spell slot. Let's rage. Lacerate. Oh, that's the that's the flaming fist. But I can't really go into the. Cloud, that would not be good. Um, I could clear. Hold on, I need a better positioning. Cleaver. Damn it. Lacerate. Reckless attack. Oh shoot! Missed! Paralyzed! Paralyzed! Your penance will be paid now! Oh shoot! The cleric! <gasps> no, he's just escaping? Oh no. The barrier. Isabel. No. In the nine hells happened. Don't look at me. Marcus was a true soul. He said he was taking Isabel to Catherick Thorne. God spare us. Catherick was planning our demise all along. Listen closely, for there's very little time. Even if last light falls, you must destroy the cult of the Absolute. Their leader is a man called Ketherick Thorne. He resides in Moonrise Towers, and we found him to be impervious to the blade <laughs> and to magic to boot. What? Even so, you must find him, and you must kill him. And as how am I supposed to do as that? that task sounds. There must be a way to break the spell that makes him invincible. There are secrets in this ancient waste hidden from. But hark, something stirs. The forces can now come get us. We're completely unprotected. Oh, frick. It's happening. They'll all be taken by the shadows. Only by the grace of Isabel's spell will we be spared the same fate. We cannot hesitate. Not even for those we knew. Those we cared for. They're no longer who they were. Steal your hearts and steady your hands. To battle! 
What is this? What is this? <gasps> oh my god! Everyone! Oh my god, I don't want to do this. Please, be welcome. Have a drink. Oh my god! <laughs> Kala? To your very good health. <laughs> oh, she's such a fan girl. I love it. Smell the wine first. You perceive a faint hint of cloth grass, a herb that is said to elicit the truth. Jahira smiles at you knowingly. My god. It doesn't spoil the taste if that's what you're wondering. Another test. I was actually wondering if it would affect me. Poisons often struggle. Well, consider this an experiment then. Indulge me. Very well. Bottoms up. Well over a century old and yet it hasn't lost a hint of flavor. Still not quite so sure about you though. People tend to lose more than just flavor when illithids get their hands on them. I speak from experience. There's an air about you. Something alien. Answer me true and do not lie. The parasite is changing you, isn't it? Hmm. <laughs> the flowing river changes. It is still a river. I am still me. But a river can flood and break its banks. If the parasite changes you, tries to break you, could you resist? Well, not with the absolute certainty. Whoa! Look around you. Good men, good women. Stranded here, two feet in the grave. If we're to survive, I have no choice but to trust you. Can I? You just said it yourself. You have no other choice. What happened to me being the godsend you've been praying for? That was a public display of hope. Despite private reservations. I have every reason to be cautious. I've traced people like you. People with parasites in their brains. All the way here from Baldur's Gate. The cult of the Absolute is spreading through the city. Quietly, quickly, and with unsettling deliberation. We tracked them to this ancient village, only to be faced with a man we killed and buried over a century ago. Uh, what? who was... is he? General Gadric Thorm. Remember that name. He's the leader of the Absolutists. He was a Sharan once. Took to building an army of dark justiciers beneath this very village. Beneath? Alongside the local druids, we made it our business to see him deposed, dead and buried. But he's returned. Not only does General Ketherick Thorn live again, it seems he is no longer mortal. He has become, in fact, invincible. Right. We met him on the road here. Commanding an army of the Absolute intent on destroying Baldur's Gate. I put an arrow through his eye myself, only to watch him pluck it out like a splinter. He healed right in front of me and chased us into the shadows. Things looked hopeless, but experience has taught me that no matter how bleak things look, there's always hope. I like how you think. You are that hope. Hope is an illusion? When easily shattered, I deal in action. So tell me, what's the plan? Protected by your artifact, 
You can infiltrate his forces at Moonrise Towers, posing as a true soul. Find out what it is that makes him invincible, so we can strip him of his advantage. Once Gatherick is without his shield, the sword, together we assault his tower and put a final end to this blight. Mm -hmm. Catherick's days are numbered. I'll make sure of it. Without a cure for your infection, your days are numbered too. Yet you selflessly offer to spend them fighting alongside us. I like you. Oh. I promise I will do everything I can to make sure you survive this. Any Thank cure you. cure starts with understanding the disease. Whatever magic Catherick's using to control these tadpoles, it must be at Moonrise. Until then, we keep drinking wine when we meet. How do I reach him? The towers are surrounded by shadows. You're not our only secret weapon. Isabel, a faithful cleric of Seluna, and a light in the darkness. She cast the moon shield around the inn. It's the only reason we're still alive. Right. She's upstairs in her chambers. Tell her I sent you. And she'll see you through the shadows safely. Shadow hard, you don't wanna say anything. <laughs> oh The others don't want to jump down, that's fine. Holy crap, how many inspiration are we gaining? <laughs> how many inspirations do we have? I don't know. Um no, seriously, how, how many? You can have a maximum of four inspiration, but how many do I have? No idea. Oh, three, three inspiration. For what exactly? Not exactly sure. Shadow Heart. Unlock and read the Book of Dead Gods. No, that was before. Successfully use a fairy ring. Okay. Meet your hero and stay in her good books from one hero to another. That's nice. Um Test for Will and me both. Okay. <sighs> what do we do about the fight? I kinda Okay, I need to go back to camp. I need to tell Halson about this anyway. And we need to rest. A long rest, please. Oh, I miss... I miss Lizelle. She can attack five times in a row, which I love. And Kalak is great, but she can't do that. You wish to speak? There's a flaming fist at last light. The curse has left him insensible, but he's muttering about a boy called Thaniel. He is? Then I must see him. Insensible or not, he knows something. I will go to see him at once. Join me when you can. All right, he just vanished, which is fine. Hold on, let me... Look at Will's spells. Oh, I can't change it, right? I need to have a look at Gale's... Um, Gale's spells sometime as well. And also I have four Illithid tadpoles. There's no time to waste. But I don't think anyone wants to use that. Yeah. <laughs> this is a anti-tadpole party. Have to keep going. Now, uh, let us... Have a long rest.
Oh, what? Raphael, what are you? Oh! Playtime's over, pet. Oh, I love this time of year. The dickheads start popping up wherever you look. What do you want, Mizora? Drop the attitude and perk up your ears. You've got a new mission. A new mission? Absolute's cult has gone and grabbed one of Zariel's assets. A devil. And a powerful one at that. They're locked up in the cult's fortress, Moonrise Towers. And you're getting him out. Hmm. And this is our problem. How exactly? <clears throat> Clause Z, Section 13. Should promised soul refuse obeyance or neglect duty, the pact holder shall cast the promised into a vernus as a lemur. I'll what? make it simple. Will fails or refuses, and he turns to a thick blob of stink flesh and sinks to a vernus. Will! Now, be a good boy and play fetch, pup, or you'll spend an eternity sizzling in the hells. Mazora's words may be flippant, but they are tinged with desperation. She cannot afford for Will to fail this mission. Okay. This may be your best chance to negotiate Will out of his pact. Interesting. We'll rescue your asset on one condition. Oh, and what condition is that? Your mind links with Will's, drawn in by his increasing panic. What are you doing? You end Will's pact and go your separate ways. A doubtful Will catches his breath, but says nothing, and your connection fades. Interesting. Now, why should I go letting my favorite pet off his leash? Hmm. Pact breaking charm, what? Remember all you can you can about devils and their contracts? We could always let the cult infect the asset. I bet they'd made a lo make a loyal thrall. Could try history. This is not gonna end well. Oh! Or it will be. Yes! You recall an old incantation from a children's story, said to void a devil's contract. Abi diabole et numquam ready. What? <laughs> I'm not gonna say that. <laughs> old incantation from a children's story? <laughs> this is gonna be hilarious. Let's try it, shall we? I've never seen such a fearless display of sheer idiocy. Bravo! I knew it. <laughs> Fine. I'll play your game. But I amend the pact once the mission's done, not before. Clause F, Section 9. Soulbinder shall bestow reward or favor only upon soul bearers' fulfillment of related obligation. Now, to Moonrise, pet. And do mind the shadows. They've been especially hungry. Hold on, we need to reload this. <laughs> we we read her mind. Uh, no, we didn't read her mind, but we we did perceive something. So we should make our best of it and not just incant a children's incantation. What am I even doing? <laughs> You recall an old incantation from a children's story, said to void a devil's contract. Abi diabole et numquam ready. We could always let the cult infect the asset. I bet they'd make a loyal thrall. 14. Damn it! 
we do have inspiration, so let's try again. Hello? Yes. Incredible. You actually think you hold the winning hand? Fine. I'll play your game. But I amend the pact once the mission's done, not before. Clause F, My God. section 9. Now, to Moonrise, pet. So she's not desperate at all. Well, that was a bummer. <laughs> I'm sorry, Will. Asterion, what do you have to say? You know, I feel a connection between us. What? Like we're two souls walking the same path. <laughs> That's such a lie. You might be a little naive in the ways of the world, but I see promise in you. Ambition. Okay. I thought you hated me. <laughs> Such a strong word. We have our differences, but we don't have to. Do we? No, no, we don't. I just worry that we're not considering all our options when it comes to our uninvited guests. How many people are infected with them, do you think? Hundreds? Thousands? And they're not just goblin trash. There are powerful people in the Worm's Thrall. That is very Whoever's true. Whoever's waiting for us at Moonrise Towers controls it all. But if we can take that control from them, imagine the power we'd wield. Hmm. And how would we do that exactly? I mean... <laughs> I assume there's some device controlling these things, so we find that. Uh, murder some people and, um... Look, I'm not a details person, all right? <laughs> but turning up and causing chaos has worked for us so far. I'm just saying, there's an opportunity here. If we can control the tadpoles, we can keep ourselves safe. And liberate the world from this evil. But maybe the power of... The power to control all these people is the power of that God, the Absolute. Maybe he controls all the people. I mean, do you want to ascend to Godhood? If we control the tadpoles, we can keep ourselves safe and liberate the pe world from this evil. Uh, let's just say I'll consider it. But actually, I don't want to consider it at all. Do. It's not often the universe hands you something like this. We'd be fools to squander it. Of course, this all assumes we live long enough to find this, uh, moonrise. But I'm feeling optimistic. That's cool. <laughs> I have no words for Asterion. He's, like, really evil. Um... Harlock, you want something? Oops. God damn it! Why did it have to be Mizora? Why did it have to be Zariel? We're supposed to risk our necks to get one of her assets. What if it's a runaway like me? Or something far worse? Mm, this is the last thing Will has to do for her, then he's free. That's not what she said. If we don't help, Mizora will turn Will into a Lemur. Could you live with that? Look, Will's happiness is my happiness. I'd sooner see myself a Lemia than him. But it's a bad idea to play games with the devil. You never win. Not ever. But he's already in a game. We can't, we don't have any choice. We don't have a choice. We can only hope that this asset is not a runaway like you. Pray for the best. Will also has something to say. Yes.
The more bullshit she pours, the more of it I'm forced to swallow. <coughs> Mazora set me on fiends inside and outside the hells. She's never ordered a rescue. Gods. She makes a mockery of everything the blade stands for. Such an asshole. <coughs> Free you from the pack? That's never gonna happen. Hmm. Any idea who this devil is that needs freeing? Not a one. All that matters is that we free it. Fail. And I made a mindless blob clawing at demons on the front lines of the blood war. Hmm. You mean too much a sword coast. I'm buttering up. I, I'm putting... Putting up... Putting it thick. Um, no. How do you say that? I am... Laying it on thick. <sighs> That's horrifying. I'm so sorry. Well, sounding not sorry at all. It's not gonna happen. Okay, well. And it means everything to me. I always knew what my future held, and I know I chose right. <clears throat> Thank you for sticking your neck out for me. I mean it. But I'm not going to celebrate till I'm actually free. I can feel Mazora scheming, plotting. She won't let me go without making a fuss. Trust me on that. She didn't promise us anything, honestly. Mm. Honestly, she didn't promise anything. This was a complete fail. Mugwort? Isn't this like house and stuff? Do I just take it? <laughs> Cutting board? What is he doing here? Okay, let's let's rest. Let's let's have a good night's sleep. We need to sleep. We need a rest. The voice of the absolute is strong here and getting stronger. My, everyone wants a piece of me. I don't me. know how much longer I can resist it. What? But it's good to see you're making progress. You're in leisure clothes today? You took an unexpected route here. You did a brave thing, saving those people in the grove. <sighs> well... Let's hope I can save them again. It wasn't even a choice. They needed my help. Not everyone would have helped. It just doesn't stop. We are being bombarded by waves of telepathic energy. Wave what after is wave it with you're doing? breath between them. I almost dare not rest. Each wave a set of orders to the infected. The order for your transformation has been given many times already. My transformation? I thought the Absolute doesn't want, generally doesn't want its true souls to become illithid, right? Or am I wrong? Do you know where the orders are coming from? There is no doubt. Moonrise Towers. I just hope my powers last long enough to see this through. In any case, the Absolute knows you carry me with you now. It wants to retrieve me. Oh, maybe he knows that we've, uh, we've betrayed him or we're not under his control. So that's why he wants us to transform. That makes sense.
Why does the Absolute want you? I am the only one who can resist the Absolute's influence. <sighs> Hence its fear of me. It's... It's desperation. Unfortunately, that also means it is dedicating more and more resources to my retrieval. The task ahead is monumental. But we're all that stands between victory for the Absolute and freedom for all. This is not just about you and I anymore. It has become far bigger than us. You must infiltrate Moonrise Towers, discover the secrets of the Absolute, and put an end to it. So we can finally be free. Now I must rest. And you must carry on. Do not let my efforts be in vain. It won't. But how does the Githyanki Queen fit in all of this? I still don't know. Why do you pose a, such a great threat to her? Does she have anything to do with the Absolute at all? And also the Dark Justicia seems to be involved as well. Scratch! The dog wags his tail, a small bag clenched between his teeth. He gives in and surrenders his find to you. Potion of animal speaking. Oh, you want to speak with me, Scratch? That's so Scratch's cute. Scratch's tongue lolls out happily, his tail wagging even faster. Potion of animal speaking. Okay, let's meet up with Helsen. Um, I believe it's the store, right? Helsen. Can you, like, heal him or something? There's no other way he'd know that name. This is just what we needed. Well done. Really? We need to wake him. He must know something about where to find Thaniel. There must be another way to lift the curse. Without Thaniel, no. And I don't know oh. how I can find him without speaking to this man. I thought the curse on healing this man. Any ideas? If he was able to escape the shadow fell, then it mustn't have managed to consume his spirit. Well, not all of it anyway. We need to unlock whatever's left of him inside his head. There must be something to trigger him. A word, a memory, an item. We just need to find it. I see what I can do. I don't deserve you, my friend. Oh my god, I don't deserve you, Halson. No, his wits have departed him, I fear. Do not give up hope just yet. Oh. I don't deserve you, Halson. to meet with Isobel and I've got a very bad feeling about this. Wobrin. Lift the shadow curse. Find Sevlor. He was captured. Okay. He froze and tried to surrender. Interesting. Art color. The house of healing. Right. 
Where the heck is that? Somewhere else entirely. House in the deep shadows. What is that? Well, we can try talk talking to Isabel um, again to see if we can protect Isabel from whatever harm and protect everyone else here. I hope. Also, I need to find out who was talking to me in that fight. Not sure what it is. The only thing I can think of is the iron flask. <laughs> Let's save. Shall we try to use it? Decorated with a grinning face, this cold iron flask is sealed with a brass stopper. Investigate. Disguised among the decorative elements, you notice a familiar arcane engraving. This is a powerful magical item, capable of trapping and holding a creature. The sealed stopper suggests it is inhabited. There is someone in it. What the heck? Premium trinkets and <laughs> Save again. The flask is cold and heavy in your hand. Remove the stopper. The flask shudders in your hand, then magical energy emanates from its neck as a creature emerges. Oh, freaking! Okay, don't do that. <laughs> Okay, that that was not the voice uh, that we heard in the combat. Okay. We should not have unleashed this thing inside the inn. What what was I thinking? Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Thankfully we can reload. Um Oh, very well. So if it's not the flask, I have no idea what was talking to me. Something that I picked up recently. Poor Kolak. She can finally seek out the touch of another, only to be told she might not have much time left. Oh, I can talk to Shadowheart. Catherick Thorm, what do you think of him? Yeah, he's allied with the... with Shar? Difficult to say. A fellow servant of the Night Singer would surely be an ally to me under most circumstances. But something doesn't add up. I'll need to see where his allegiances truly lie. Hmm. Yeah, that's all. Nothing about Sul uh, Saluna. 